Hey, what's up guys? Delphin the Ranger here for a quick one-off video. It's a tutorial video on how to get mod packs to run on Minecraft. Now, I, for my Minecraft, use a special program called MultiMC. And this is what I'm going to recommend for you guys for doing any mod pack stuff. MultiMC allows you to install several different instances of Minecraft on the same computer. And this allows you basically to, if you want to run an old mod pack on like, I don't know, you want to use like a really old mod pack on like 1.6 or something like that. Or no, yeah, 1.6. Or like you want to run an updated mod pack on like 1.12 you have the option to create a 1.6 mod pack instance and a 1.12 mod pack instance like this one here little block I think is like a one point yeah this is a 1.6 instance here because it's got little blocks very old mod so it's a very old um, instance because of that. It's also got Forge installed. So basically, uh, this this um, this program is a free download. It's very useful and it's legitimate as well. I have to log in with a with an actual official Minecraft account that has a license in order to actually use any Minecraft instance I create, which means it doesn't take money away from Mojang. But this is basically how I, this is what I use in order to record my Minecraft videos or even play Minecraft in general. I don't actually even have Minecraft's launcher installed on this computer at all because I never need it because this is all I ever play using. So this program it's free to download it's just from multimc.org and this is what I'm going to be using to install a mod pack now I'm going to use a rel relatively popular mod pack as the example here RLcraft now this mod pack the glaze server just uh, added a second server to their listings for RL Craft, and because I wanted to play on that, meant I had to get this to work. So, here's how you're going to use MultiMC to get that to work, because the Twitch system, I, I don't like it, so I used this system. So, what we're going to do first uh, is we're going to go to Files, I believe it is. Uh, yep, the download uh, link for the zip file for it. Now, currently, we're on beta 2.8.1. By the time you watch this video, there might be a different one out now. I don't really know. But all you do is you download the file. Now, I already downloaded this file. And it's in my downloads folder. So I'm going to pick up this off of here. And I'm just going to throw it on my desktop for now. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into here. And we're going to create a new instance. Um, yeah, in my modded group. And we're going to name it um, RL Craft. There we go. So we put a name in there. And we set it to 1.12.2. Now... We're going to go down here to import from zip and go to browse. <coughs> go to desktop because that's where it is. And we're going to click on this and there we go. Then we're going to press OK. And we're going to wait for it to create it. OK, so it's going to start extracting the mod pack first of all. Once it's finished extracting, it will then download the mods and install them into the Minecraft 
instance area. This may take a while, so I will see you when it's done. Okay, so our RL craft has now downloaded, as you can see. Now, if we right click on this and go to edit instance, because there is a slight problem of sometimes it has some issues. So you want to go into there, you want to go to settings, I believe it is. Yep, and you want to allocate memory because it. It is a hefty mod pack, so 1024 memory is not going to be enough. You'll want to increase that up to 2048 at the least. That's the one that I currently have it set to, so that's the one that I would recommend to you guys. So now that that's been set, you can just click the launch button, and the pack will begin to install Minecraft, and will also begin to load up the mods. So you'll get the console, first of all, so you can see it's activated all of the mods, so it recognizes that they're all there. And, yeah, it's going to have a few issues, because it some of the mods don't have Minecraft version annotations on them, so it doesn't recognize that it's for this version. Like, and then there's also uh, markers and issues like that, but they should all, in theory, all work together. And Minecraft itself has now opened. And you can see here, we've got, uh, one, we've got 1820 megabytes of memory available to the game to actually load and allocate the mod locations and everything else like that. This may take a while, because it is a brand new installation. I'm surprised it didn't uh, take longer than this, in fact, to get to this point. But it's now loading in all of the sounds and then the blocks. Um, yeah, it should... Yeah. Actually, I believe it's now loading... Yeah, it's loading in models now. Mm hmm Yeah. Again, this may take a while. This is actually the longest part of the process, is it attempting to load everything in? Because it is a hefty mod pack, as I said, so... I will... Yeah, I will see you when this finishes. Okay. So there we go. So now it's fully finished updating and loading in everything and yeah you'll notice you'll get a hefty number of errors every now and then from certain mods not being too happy. I don't know why that happens but you can just ignore them because the mod pack does work fully. It is fully loaded right now and it does fully work and by the way this is the most insane mod pack I've ever actually looked into in any way. So I'm just going to fully make sure that this 100% works. I'm just going to open up a quick creative mode, uh, flat, super flat, and we'll just say, I don't know, test, there we go, create new world. Yep, and there we go. So we've already got the Tutorial for the first aid mod has thingied itself. Let's just spam through that and cancel. And we can see there's a we can see all of the um, things are loading in and all the other features are working. So like structures and stuff like that. Everything like zooms up from the ground. It's really fancy. Um, don't really know if I'm going to be able to show that off properly because I've kind of loaded in most of the stuff here. Hmm. 
Nah, not quite, but yeah, so we can see everything's working. And yeah. Um So yeah, so that's the entire mod pack has fully downloaded and is working. So yeah, that's about it. So that's how to install a mod pack using multi MC. It's quite an efficient system and it it runs RL craft really well and it runs other mod packs really well as, as well I'm assuming uh, what I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna show you as well that multiplayer does work here um, so I'm just gonna load up uh, glaze here so I will be back in a second once I've done so that. So now we can see we've now loaded into the RL Craft Glaze server, and there's a lot of progress has been made since I was last on. Wow. Everyone's got their own bed and everything. This is, this is nice. Very nice. We've made a lot of progress, it seems. Uh, yeah, but it runs pretty well as well. Considering I'm also recording at the same time, this is running extremely well, in fact. Hmm. And this torch has gone out. Yeah, no one said this pack was easy. Um, right, so I'm going to disconnect. And yeah, you can see from that, servers work, single player works, the entire, the entire mod pack is completely running and fully operational via this service and yeah so I can just close out of that and I can delete this because I don't need that because I've already got one over here yeah permanently delete that and yeah it's gonna take a while because it's deleting a hefty amount of files off the system uh, in fact it's lagging out the laptop from the amount of files it's deleting nice Okay, yeah. So that's working now. Uh, so I'm going to close out of this as well. And I can just delete this now because it doesn't require that either. It just, yeah, it works directly from there. So yeah, that's about it for today, guys. That's just a quick, this is going to be a quick, this is just a quick video. It's not like, a, it's not one that's a main video. I'm actually like in the process of of uh, ending this I'm actually gonna open the editor now just because I can so yeah um, I'm gonna end this video here and yeah there should be another video out a little later today or it might already be out I don't really know how I'm gonna structure putting this up on the channel I'll probably put it up either after or before the main video for this week um, but yeah, let me know, guys, in the comments if you want me to do a, a, a series on RL Craft, because that would be something that I would be really interested in doing. Um, other than that, though, uh, thank you all for watching this. Um, I will see you all in the next video. Uh, this has been Delph and the Ranger signing out. Take care, guys.